you may already know how hard Godot is criticized for its default physics behavior in 2D, but is it actually that bad? Today I will be comparing the default physics engine in 2D of both Unity and Godot, and the results were quite quite interesting, so I really encourage you to stick until the end. Let's get started. First of all, let's super quickly uh, take a look at both of the projects that we're going to be using. They are just using basically the default settings, but uh, just to make sure that we are on the same page. So in Widowed, I have a node today, I have a rigid body, and I have added here a physics uh, material. So actually here I have modified the friction to be 0.4. Why you may be thinking about this because the default friction in Unity is 0.4. So basically, we're going to be comparing this as the as the default physics engine, and you will actually see that at least for this usage, both friction 0 and friction 0.4 will literally lead to the exact same results. We will see this in a second, and then well, we are setting a bounce to one, okay? Because a bounciness set to one is equal to uh, full bounciness uh, so the idea here is to check how the default physics engine basically i mean the default physics engine because we are not going here to the project settings and modifying here the 2d physics or going to some uh, other properties inside of the rigid body that we may be able to modify and get different results but well the idea here is to just create a ball bouncing here with the default settings that you would use to create a ball bouncing in some kind of floor okay and for that in both unity and without you would use a physics material and well that is why we are setting here bounciness and well friction in 0.4 because it is the value that uh, unity also uses um but once again if you set friction to zero the results at least with this super simple example is going to be quite quite similar um Ah well, so the only thing that we have here is the rigid body, as you can see, no other options have been uh, modified. Uh, well, we have the, the sprite that is just a, a circle that I created, the collision shape, the floor is a static body 2D, as well with its own sprite and collision shape, so quite, quite simple. Now, in terms of Unity, we have the exact same setup or quite similar. We have the floor, that are, the only thing that it has is basically uh, a box collider and then uh, the ball what we have here is a rigid body 2d with uh, this physics material that as you can see well the default settings are friction in 0.4 and bounciness in one okay so those are going to be the values that uh, we are going to be using now let's get started with without so as you can see here the ball starts to bounce oh, well the, the bounciness itself looks quite good and uh, well it is super realistic quite close uh, to reality because as you can see um it is bouncing faster and faster okay basically it is just as if you were bouncing uh this ball in real life so uh, the ball is losing energy is losing force uh, over time that's why the height of the jump is always becoming uh, smaller and smaller and probably if we just leave uh, the game running for a couple of minutes, minutes we will see how maybe the ball completely stops bouncing or if it doesn't stop completely bouncing, uh, com completely bouncing, maybe the bounciness of it will be just so so small that maybe it is even quite complicated for the human eye to detect that the ball uh, is actually bouncing over here. So I will just leave um, here for a little bit more time. Uh, this ball running, bouncing, and we will see uh, if something changes or uh, what happens. So yes, indeed, here an important thing is that it is a movement that is much more close um, to reality. And uh, that well, for us in order to actually be able to see the ball completely sticked to the wall, we'll have to wait a uh, lot of minutes, or even or even we may not achieve that. Um, but what we see here, you always have to take in mind in mind this behavior. 
because in unity you are going to see in just a second that uh, it is going to be uh, quite quite uh, different so yes indeed let's now uh, start uh, doing this but in unity so we'll see what results we are getting this time it is literally happening the exact opposite um, whereas in without what we're having is that the the speed of the uh, of the ball uh, and the ball height when bouncing was higher was a uh, was a uh, lower and lower here it is actually happening the opposite it is always gaining more speed more height in each jump so it's always instead of increasing the height increasing the forces um in without decreases everything so they are quite opposite at least in the thing we, you can even see how um the vault even starts disappearing from uh, the the actual viewport so of course both of them still provide quite an accurate behavior the vault is not falling for example um basically the behaviors are literally the opposites um so it's something that is of course super important to um taking count now here we are seeing both tests being performed at the exact same time so that we can see how they are changing over time the key important thing here the key difference between both of them is that is how they increase or decrease the energy and the forces uh, be between the two balls um without decreases its force over time that is why we always see the ball much closer to the ground whereas unity is always increasing that distance okay and that's why uh we see that it is always bouncing up and up um but well at least both of them were able to provide a solid collision detection that is always something that is super important for this kind of test we would have to see how they perform with more and more objects being bounced off uh, some uh, uh, static body um but well at least with this test both performed correctly but well uh, the the actual results were a little bit different from each other now of course the question remains in terms of which engine is actually better at least in this kind of uh, super simple test but i don't think that this is a question that only has to do with you watching a youtube video and saying okay good old is better than unity in this aspect I think that it's much better to just try out both physics engine and because of this difference in behaviors how they calculate forces energies uh gravity etc depending on how both calculate these things you might find one that works better for your own purposes and also for your own likings okay but well the important thing here is that both provide quite an interesting at least performance and behaviors for this simple test okay so that is something that is worth uh, mentioning so anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and if so, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you are going to be seeing more similar content. See you in the next one and bye bye.